Greetings, Kishlings. Kish Prime here with my live reaction of My Hero Academia, Chapter 328. Okay, last chapter, um, we had weird bath time with, you know, Class 1A. Yeah. <laughs> Deku apologizes to All Might, and All Might's uh, intel that he gained from Stain, detailed records of Tartarus, and also... We learn that um, about two months of full recuperation and whatnot is what Tomura needs to fully accept his new power, which is devastating considering you wouldn't think that it would just be rest. So maybe if you could just keep him constantly stressed and overexerted, maybe it would prolong the process. I don't know. But anyway, moving on. Let's see here. Around a month ago... The day that Tartarus fell, the ultimate anti-quark special prison uh, facility Tartarus. Connected, connected is the title. Let's see here. Towers are falling. People running amok. Fa ha 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 ha. Women, women, women. To think that the day where I can go chasing women around would come so soon. And Stain just killed that dude. Huh? Okay, I forgot Stain doesn't have a nose. <laughs> um, what's going on? He's just so nonchalant. It's like, huh, prison break. Something going on? I, I mean, I just killed a dude, but, you know. Everybody going to go get pudding? Uh, anyway, let's see here. Absolutely no information about the outside world is allowed to be passed into Tartars and into the hands of the incarcerated. Uh oh Interesting. It seems that Tartarus has fallen and the outside must already be information. I need information. God damn, it's weird. Now I know that he doesn't have a nose. I mean, I'm sure it's been a thing, but it's so weird to see it more in detail. Okay, he goes to a surveillance room. It is busted to shit. No good, huh? The others seem to have died while taking up arms. But this man was curled up, holding something as if it were his own child. Wait. Oh, has he got that information that he has on the little, like, chip? Why am I holding on to this? Why am I holding on to this instead of a weapon? Wait. His breathing was hitched with every word as he slowly approached death. I need information. Aki, uh... Guru, Chizome, uh, don't give this to any of the Shigaraki or any of the Shigaraki's followers. Is it something important? This is a recording device. Oh, and it's got um, three chips in it. So you only gave one? Don't kill people. Return it. Give it back to a just person. And you gave it to All Might. And you're about to shoot him. Like, damn. Uh, give it back to them. Don't hand it over to the wrong side. Whatever you do. Otherwise, it will surely destroy the present that we have now. Don't worry. Your determination will be rewarded. I can assure that it will reach a just person. I mean, Stain is probably the best person for it to have fallen into their hands. Akiguro, you... Are you a man? Or a monster? And the... What? Oh wait, is that Stain's name? And I'm just now picking up on that. Only those who strive for a completely just uh, world are monsters. Okay. And there's when uh, All for One is like, Ha ha, come to me, my follower. Your prison has fallen, and I am your new king. Let's see. That man whose name I didn't even know during his final moments tried desperately to protect this. Whether or not it has any value, I cannot decide. And he jumped into the sea. This is why I will pass it on to the one human that I know I can trust. I hold a belief that in order to serve this world, you will have to walk through the path of death. You are the only one who can accept this. Because you are the one who started all of this. Oh. Uh, let's see here. 
there's a note. All Might first handed over this information to Sukauchi. He shortly returned to UA to talk to Deku, and now he's reconvening. Okay. <clears throat> well done. So has uh, Midoriya-kun made up uh, with everyone else now? Also, it's a shame to receive such, uh, such great help from such a vile murderer. I mean, yeah, I could see that. Tartar systems are cut off from the outside world and hence completely isolated. There's no way they would have been able to gain access to this data normally. Mm, excuse me. The bowels of Tartarus were heavily damaged from the inside and out during the last fight due to the radio waves that Shigaraki attacked with, causing all of the systems to go down. Why would that necessarily cause all the shis all the systems to shut down? It's goddamn radio waves, not fucking electromagnetic waves. Um, let's see here. AFO, hello, cat, cop. Um, let's see here. AFO was uh residing within Shigaraki Tomura, so that is why, through his connected consciousness. A perfectly synchronized attack, both inside and outside, was able to occur. That's the thing, Officer uh, Sansa. Sansa? That's his name? Um, he was able to share his thoughts with Shigaraki due to part of his consciousness still residing within his quark. I, too, had a similar experience with OFA. Ah, the problem is, I couldn't communicate both ways in my case. Oh, so he what? Hmm, interesting. Let's see here. This me is able to communicate my thoughts synch uh, synchronicity uh, to the consciousness dwelling within uh, OFA. But on the other hand, I have yet to experience any sign of synchronicity in thoughts from the spiritual me. Okay. However, the time was different when I touched young Midoriya. No. Okay, that line could have been read weird. Uh, when I was close enough to make direct contact with him, my spiritual form's memories came flooding over into me. There were no words. Pure emotion washed over me. If AFO were the same, were to be the same, if his quark was hypothetically... Uh, to have a synchronicity rate greater than OFA, then I predict that he would also be able to communicate with his real body. Imprisoned approximately 500 meters underwater, he would also be able to send a subsequent... <clears throat> or sub... Why can't I say this word? Uh, an amount... I'm not even going to try it. Of instructions via his thoughts to Shigaraki. Spooky. Don't say the same thing about twins. However true that may be, this time they were able to use radio waves. Okay. This chapter seems to be going on forever. If Shigaraki is able to use radio waves more precisely than a Nomu, then there's a strong possibility he was transceiving a sub substantial amount of instructions. Why am I having such a hard time with this word? <clears throat> if one possesses a radio wave type cork, then it is most likely they are able to receive as well as transmit their thoughts. The recorded radio waves that we have left have a waveform that almost resembles a conversation. You were able to analyze and uh, parse the data, right? To find out what they were saying? He will be completed in 38 days. Oh, shit. What? C Central Headquarters research doesn't match that. They said it had two months left, so it's a little over a month. Shit. Um, the results of uh, researching and analyzing all of that will lead to nothing significant. And if we believe that this hidden medium of communication between Shigaraki's real body and his consciousness really does exist, then Shigaraki Tomura now no more than a vessel 
will be completed in three days. Wait, they have three days? So it, it's been a while since that was, hmm. I heard about it personally from All Might. <clears throat> so this, this arc is definitely progressing. <laughs> um, I mean, I thought they would just have a shorter amount of time you know, uh, you know, the month, basically three weeks less than they originally thought. But no, we're just, fuck that, we're three days. <laughs> uh, but to spend uh, reinforcements to, by tomorrow is impossible. The foreign heroes uh, who can be dispatched tend to not follow orders when they're called for help internationally. Oh, so we're going to finally get to see international heroes. Real with the domestic affairs, directly using the heroes you already have in the country. The more heroes we dispatch from our own, the less of a deterrent they are here, resulting in the breaking of a carefully maintained equilibrium. Every time we dispatch a large amount of heroes like that, it does, it. It does nothing but revitalize the criminal syndicates who came out of hiding. Uh, that is all for today, but it is odd. So we've got like some secret board meeting, I guess. Almost like every country is in chaos simultaneously by sheer coincidence. Wait, it's going all around the world? According to the ICPO, AFO has slithered, slithered his dark tendrils into almost every nation. However, if Hawks Endeavor and above all might, and above all, all might, requested there is no way we can refuse okay we have an egyptian hero our country's solemn is the limits of his uh patience and is at the point where he is obsessively uh stating that afo is growing our country's big red dot who the hell is that supposed to be um is in a similar predicament He's continuously asked, why do we need permission in order to help out a friend in need? Oh, that's good. I understand, however. She has already departed. One of ours. She's incredibly impatient. She left in order to blow everything away. Wait. Captain America? <laughs> but, lady? Um, let's see here. Is that's a negative, Star. I know where to go. It just depends on how fast or slow you are. It was a direct request from All Might. My master's in trouble. What? We can't waste a moment's worth of time. A world-class hero is here. The United States of America's number one hero, Stars and Stripes. Really, that's a stupid name, but whatever. I guess it's better than Lady America, as I kind of thought it would be. But All Might, uh... Was her master? I guess during his training, which... I mean, given her age, yeah, it might align, but, hmm. Unless maybe she just... Maybe she went to Japan for a while. wonder what her powers are. She looks kind of buff. So maybe she has a strength enhancing quirk or something. Also, she is quite large. Because they're on like what looks like uh, stealth bombers. Flying to Japan. And she's quite in comparison to them. Also, I think her hair might actually stick up like All Might's. Because you got like these two, at least one bit on the side here. And it doesn't look like normal hair flowing. I think she styled herself after All Might in that regard. Much like Deku did. Why does everyone always focus on the hair? But, I mean, I guess it is one of his most notable qualities. Physically, but still. But anyway, so. Interesting to see what she's capable of. But, uh, yeah. Now we know how Stain got a hold of that information. Um, we now know that there's only three days until Shigaraki is at full power, which is kind of terrifying that they don't have, like, next to no time. And heroes from abroad are wanting to help, and one, at least, is on their way. Who is also student, or at least mentoree, under All Might. So, 
cool. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it'll be interesting to see what she does alongside Deku. Like, that would be kind of awesome. It's like, Master's in trouble. And it's like, wait, he's your master too? Yes, young one. And it's like, what? And it's like, okay, well then we will, you know, smash many villains' asses together. You know, she might even call him, like, you know, he might start calling her, like, Nii-chan or something. That'd be kind of cute. But, um, anyway. So, yeah. Some interesting developments. I like that Stain actually played a positive role, even though, you know, the lack of a nose. But, anyway. Um, so, yeah. He, he's still on the good side i guess of things though his mentality and whatnot and his methods are completely deplorable but hey at least he is for the most part doing things for the greater good um but yeah hmm. anyway let me know your own thoughts and opinions on this chapter anything i missed misunderstood please let me know down below check out my other content see what you like suggest things for the future help me reach 500 subs by the end of october 500 500 <clears throat> links down below for all my social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me i stream on twitter where i do gaming and i'll tweet out when i go live part of the one punch man podcast on grim reaper's channel so go check that out and as always thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and until next time quichelings it is October, so don't get bit by a zombie. Walking Dead reference. Bum bum.